One of the most significant interactions that I saw occur in the last uh, uh, couple of weeks when we had these visitors come to Gaza was a, a poor man who had lost his two children. Um, and uh, he recounted to one of the ministers who was visiting, and I was there standing listening to it, and he, he was recounting the fact that he's not a Hamas supporter, he never supported Hamas, he's never been involved in any militant activity, um, and he said, they know me, because his home was actually close to the, the boundary. And there, of course, there have been many incursions in the past. So he said, when I heard they were coming, I had nothing to fear. They've been in my house, house before. They know who I am. Uh, it's going to be, of course, a rough period. We'll probably be down in the basement or whatever, uh, and they'll be occupying the roof and this and that and the other. But that's life in Gaza. So he said, where's the run? There's no need to run. I'm fine. So he and his family didn't run away. Not that they had anywhere to run to, but they decided to stay in their home, and they had nothing to fear. They felt safe. They felt safe in the knowledge that they were innocent. And they respected the Israeli military. They gave them the benefit of the doubt. They said that, yeah, no, they, because I am innocent, because they know who I am, I, I'll be okay. Unfortunately, they were not okay. And his two children are dead. Now, he interacted with one of the visiting ministers, and I was there at the time, and obviously grief-stricken, but he was appealing for help, and he was making no allegations, you know, he was not uh, screaming for vengeance or revenge, he wasn't calling for violence, uh, he was actually engaging in a very rational way, appealing for help, because his concern was, what's next? because he still has a number of children who are still alive. And that's now his preoccupation. He does not know where to turn, but he is in mortal fear that if that can happen, as it has happened to him, what is coming next? And I got back into the car with the minister, and I said to him, I said, thank you for coming, because you see, I now rest my case. I mean, how much more civilized can you be in your grief than to be appealing for the rule of law, to be appealing for humanity and civilization to apply? 